Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel. Weirdly on a Tuesday, I don't normally stream on a Tuesday, but I've got some extra time and I've been excited about working on this in. So we're going to keep on uh, plugging away on the inside and on the outside, I hope to get to that today as well. And uh, I'll apologize straight up front about some of the transitions and stuff today on stream. I don't know what's going on. Every once in a while, it feels like when I boot up OBS, my stream deck just doesn't want to talk to it. It happened the other day before stream, and the only thing I could do was restart OBS, but I hadn't already started streaming at that point. So now that I'm live, I don't want to restart OBS because, of course, it'll end the stream. So uh, I'll just do my best to manually transition uh, with... Um, with OBS, I really should have some backup like keyboard commands in case the stream deck doesn't work like this. I don't know why it's doing this. It's uh, it's really annoying, and um, it's a it's a pain too because like I invested some decent money in that stream deck and I'd like it to work the way that it's supposed to. A uh, blast, Jordan, Kelberty, Random, and Northern Vet. Uh, I know that Cosmic is also lurking in the background. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna pop inside and see what we need to do. What's left? inside i feel like we've got some armor stand things i want to put something above the mantle and it looks like my texture packs are not loaded uh is it this one i don't remember which one is the one that works We'll find out, I guess. So I did some screenshots in the uh, snapshot, and whenever you do that, it removes all of your texture packs, which I find really annoying. I wish that it wouldn't do that. One of these is not like the other. I need to rename it. I'm pretty sure it's not the one with the variants. Well, no. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's working. Basically, I need to fix my coarse dirt changes. Anyway, as I was saying, I want to put something above the mantle, which is probably going to mean hovering an armor stand up there. And I'd like to put some stuff on the counter. I need to do some wall things in here and, of course, make the kitchen feel like it's a little bit more active. We'll also get some books. And I think the rooms are done. We don't need any. Why is this default again? I really don't understand why keybinds get changed when you load up a different version of Minecraft. Uh, Like I didn't change that back. I changed it the other day. That's what I wanted to do. Anyway. We'll uh, double check that we don't need to light up in here. No, we're good. So outside of maybe tripwire hook or something on the wall in here. I think we're good. Same thing with this. Maybe we'll put something on the wall there or something above the bed, maybe. I guess we could light the candles just for ambiance. Everything up here is good because of the light there. So I guess we'll just go with the books to start things off. I'll get rid of all the stuff in my inventory. Uh, the inn is fairly new, yeah, in the last couple of weeks. But if you've not been here for a while, then there's probably a lot that's changed. Might as well keep those things. Those can go away. I'll keep those.
don't remember what I had all the stone stuff in my inventory for, but we'll put all that back, I guess. I feel like we've got some freshly smelted as well. Go. I added a couple of new performance mods hoping to increase my FPS, but I had one crash before I started and it seems to be okay now. So I'm not sure whether it was just a server thing or what. So hopefully it'll be Good. I can't seem to get the um, the FPS to go above 75, and I and I don't have VSync enabled because VSync causes stutters for me. So VSync is not enabled. Frame rate is unlimited, but I can't seem to get anything above 75. I've seen it tick over to 76, but like I don't know whether that's a true representation or whether that's just being a little bit odd, you know. I'd love to be able to play with shaders. That's my main main thing. I may just have to upgrade my hardware. Want them to make a wolf variant that looks like a Bernese mountain dog? Yeah, that'd be cool. I think that it's going to be someone that'll come along with a texture pack and, and like a resource pack because you don't even need a mod. Like you could just do a resource a resource pack that changes the model and changes the texture and then just you've got eight different breeds of dog that you could totally do and i think you could do a different texture for the tamed version versus the i don't know if they've got separate textures so that you wouldn't come across like a bernese mountain dog in the wild it would be like the chestnut wolf is what you'd see and then you would tame it and then you would get the bernese 18 books I might need more than that. Well, there's some leather. And there's some paper. More paper still. I don't want to use that last little bit of sugar cane because I feel like it, uh, I might need it to actually plant a stack of books. That might be enough. That might be enough. Tried the new performance mount immediately fast the other day, and it seems to have added a small boost to my FPS. That's what I'm running right now, Eli Jenkins. Uh, the new performance mods are ferret core or ferrite core, rather, immediately fast, and memory leak fix. I, I've got no way to track whether they've changed anything. I don't feel like it's changed anything. Um, I tried doing um, entity culling, but I don't want more entity culling. I want less. I want to be able to see the other side of my leaves. There's a cull more or cull less mod, but it's not updated for 1.20.4. And the entity culling mod, it doesn't, like it, it removes things that you're not looking at. So when you turn around, all of this renders in again. So it just, it, it feels really immersion breaking. So I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I tried it at first and I immediately uninstalled it because it, made me feel like my world was just like constantly loading behind me. Does anybody else have any good performance mods? I watched a YouTube video by, who was it by? That seemed like it was pretty good. Um, Kasi Sora, K-A-S-I. Oh, actually, hold on, I'll just copy the link. I watched this video and it seemed to 
be pretty good. And oh, maybe, sorry, Remarkably Optimized was the one. So that's one video I watched. This is the one, that second video by Remarkably Optimized, which is the name of a pack, is the one that tipped me to, to potentially using some of these. I already had some of them installed, like I already had Sodium installed. Uh, I haven't installed, I installed Sodium Plus, but Sodium Plus just adds more options. I don't, I don't know if it really helps. And it also, um, the menu doesn't look very good. It overlaps the existing menu for Sodium, which just feels amateur. So I decided to remove it. I probably wouldn't care if I wasn't creating content. It just feels really strange. All right, so we know we've got some books and tripwire hooks is the other thing. I'll grab my redstone box for the potential levers if we need them. I don't think I want to put a detector rail in the kitchen, but we'll see. Sweet Sandy, good to see you. Hello. So sometimes you'll see people do this in the kitchens. Oh, I can't. There's a trapdoor there. Never mind. So what people do normally on like a stovetop, they'll put something like that and it looks like a burner. But in a medieval town, I'm not sure how well that would really fly. So tripwire hook there. I'm thinking we do something like that in here. Yeah, that looks good. And then in here, I think above the bed looks better. Here's going to be two in your face. Yeah. Just little bits. And then we've got one there. I guess I'm okay with that. I feel like we might be better off here to have an actual shelf. Maybe we can actually put something on it. Like a plant or something. Oh, I wanted to bring in the mangrove and make this feel a little bit nicer too. Remember that now. Well, we've got the books, so we can jump in here. And this is just a matter of, I think, trying to remember which colors are which. So sometimes I think it's easier to put them all in and then remove the ones that feel kind of repetitive. So not a fan of that there. Maybe we'll, I like the green and the yellow because it goes with the flower. The pink kind of clashes with this. Man, that heat makes a huge difference. And then maybe another one from somewhere. Sure. Oh, there was books in here, wasn't there? Oh, that's really unfortunate. Maybe we won't put that there. Maybe we'll try to hang something. Let's 
Oh, right. I wanted to mess with the balcony too. I don't think we need a carpet up here. I guess we could have like a little square. If we did, what color would it be? Probably not gray. Maybe something a little bit more interesting. Like a dark green. Or even a purple. It would help the purple books make sense. I think just the purple one was the one that stood out too much. Got the beehives there. I almost want to put a bookshelf up here. I just don't like that corner connection. That's pretty good. Maybe if we brought this all the way along. That feels more like a desk kiosk type place. I wonder if I could get something with an armor stand up there and have it look good. That could be kind of fun. Do I have stairs and slabs? What's that upstairs? If I remove these... Oh, I like that. I think I like the overlap better. That's cool. Just the little happy accidents that happen when you experiment around a little bit. I wonder if, because of that, I wonder if I can get away without that now. Yep. And then that's more interesting. And then in the side here, I think I wanted to have a hook. Maybe have one there. Certainly would make sense to have maybe one by the door. They do kind of stick in your face, but... Uh, it's a little repetitive. Um, maybe not there. Maybe I'll try to have some sort of plant or something in the corner. I feel like an azalea in a flower pot would make sense. Or maybe that's the one spot we could put a, um, a decorated pot. That, or I could put like an actual chest here, which could be good. Yeah, more utility matches the, this has a different height as well. Uh, book and quilt. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten to that, but yeah, I could totally do something like that. I've done that um, over here. There's like a town registrar's office. Put one on the sign there and then... Oh, just a piece of paper in here. But you can see the, I mean, before the tables and chairs data pack broke, but you can understand kind of like what I was going for. Maybe I did it upstairs. Nope, I thought I did. Any thoughts on what I can put over um, the mantle? Can... Can an armor stand hold a painting? Do we know? Because this is a two wide or two uh, centered on an even seam. So a painting, even if it was the full double painting, it would look weird as it would connect to the edges of those. 
but it would be kind of fun to put like a little something up there. A sword? I mean, that makes sense over something like a barracks or an armory, but, but an inn? I'm thinking something a little bit more pleasant. Like this kind of stuff makes sense above the barracks, right? Jim did something for on Hermitcraft for Green, but you don't remember what it what it was. I saw um smallish beans Joel did a really cool squid thing in his shop with like candles and armor stands. It must have taken an absolute eon. I think they're using a mod though, which I don't think we have installed or working correctly on the server. It might be on the server. I don't know if it's currently on my mod list. Um, I don't even remember how to make a painting. Where do I keep my armor stand book? I don't remember where I keep that. I really need to clean out my ender chest. Eight sticks and a piece of wool is a painting. Cool. Thank you. I've got paintings in the modern city because I have a texture pack that assigns different paintings to different sizes. Uh, that is nope. That's the happy six years. Help statues. That's probably it. Although I've got a new version, so this may not work. We'll see. Thought I had some other head blocks, but they're probably all over at the other storage. Insane value. Hello, welcome back. Oh, it's working. You can hold a painting. Uh, that's going to be kind of small. And it's not going to do what I think it's going to do because it's not going to actually show a painting. It's just going to be like a blank canvas. Main hand head. So we could hang that above the mantle and that could work okay. Not amazing, <laughs> not very picturesque and kind of small. Is the painting different with different con color wool? I don't think so. I don't remember what my paintings are. There, some of them are images from my friend Brit. 
But see, like, I don't like that. It... Maybe I've removed it. Nope, that's one of Brit's paintings. <laughs> I've obviously not replaced many of them. That's one of Brits. Yeah. I guess I could try to do a map, maybe? I wonder what that would look like. To remember how to do this. Right. Paper. I should just keep paper in one of these. I feel like a map is going to be that default garish Minecraft color map though, so it might not be the best decision. Custom banners are too big. Banners would hang down over the fireplace. Alistair McFly, how's it going? The gift subscription? No. Uh, yes. Cosmic Dancer with the sub gift for Alistair, and that's going to month six. I think so, anyway. Thanks for the shout out, Alistair. Appreciate it. Sweet bears or some kind of holly. That would be cool. Goat's horn is a good idea. Wait for night. That's a good one too. Yes, six month gift subscription of Cosmic Dancer for Alistair has entered month six. Cool. Thanks, Alistair. A uh, map. Now, the question is. What part of the world would I want to have mapped? Probably this one, but I'm not sure where that's going to be. I don't particularly like the mapping system. Man, this looks really repetitive now that I've got my pebbles turned off. I'm about in the middle here. Yeah. That's not particularly pretty, is it? I mean, it's not bad. You forget that wheat is green on Minecraft maps, right? And then you just hold it like an item. Okay, well, that doesn't do me any good. That doesn't work either. Okay. We'll save that for a rainy day. That might be able to go in there somewhere else. We'll see. Uh, what do we say? We said... Goat horn, which I don't have. It's really about like odd items. So it'd be more like it's almost like an item frame or I feel like that painting might be a good way to do it.
amethyst cluster. I kind of, it's cool that you can do that, but I don't know how well that would look inside. It might go okay with the andesite. What I should do is bring the armor stand in here instead. Shame you couldn't have a screenshot of the overhead map as a painting because that would show more realistic colors. I probably could do something like that. I feel like there's probably a mod that changes the way that the maps work in Minecraft. So Amethyst is high on my list. What were the other things that people said? Goat horn I don't have. Realistic, he gives accurate. Forget the name of the setting. What do you mean, Alistair? I don't follow. Yeah, I think we need to go. There was something else somebody said. Goat horn. Sweet berries. That would have to have some sort of frame around it, though. I like the idea because I think it matches what's happening. Um, what's happening on the outside? You know, like the colors are good. I think it was Sandy that said the sweet berries. What is rendering and unrendering? Feeling some things are blinking. All right, random stuff that I have. Spyglass would be kind of cool. Take that out in case we need it in the kitchen. Makes sense. They're next to a river. A loaf of bread. Nothing there. I wanted a book and quill or somewhere. Banner pattern. A banner pattern like that is actually a cool item. That could be kind of fun. I think I've done that in some of my sign work. But it feels like the thing right now is that there's no frame, right? So there's, I need to have something up there that we have to make it look like it's in a frame. And that's the tricky part. I think that's why... I wonder if an item frame on the armor stand would be better than a painting. But then that's going to have the, that's going to have a little dagger in it probably, right? We'll pop over to the mini block storage. Which, I don't know why I put it way over here, but it is. And I'm looking particularly for heads. Uh-oh. Uh, 
spider, endermite, looking for like a fish head. Those are just mini blocks. There's no real heads in there, I don't think. I think the last time I did this, I just had to go kill a salmon. Yeah. While I'm here, is there anything that could be fun? That could be cool in the kitchen, maybe. We don't have a lot of room for counter space, but we have a little bit. Nothing else. Soul sand sometimes looks like a cake or a loaf of something. Looms look like an abacus, which could be fun. Oh, you found a fabric mod that changes vanilla maps to have accurate colors. That's cool. That would be worth having. What's the name of it, Alistair? Uh, accurate maps, is that it? Cool. That would be great, actually, because I could use that inside of my... Um, inside of my keep. Cool. Is that the, um, is that like the most popular? I generally, when it comes to those kind of things, I never download the first thing I come across. I usually download something that looks like it has a lot more support. I think I already have other mini blocks out there. Do we have bone meal in here? Oh yeah, lots. Sweet. Yeah, I might try to install it on a break. I find it so convoluted the way that mods are, like the versions are all over the map. Because people play on old versions of Minecraft for some reason. So there's our book and quill. Yes, I do have some of these out here. Okay, cool. I don't have a salmon head though. Do I have a looting sword? I guess I don't. I thought I did. Maybe this has looting on it. Oh, looting one. Don't know how often they drop the head. Am I not swimming? Yeah, I am. Okay. I don't feel like I'm moving very fast. I 
I guess I'll wait for the salmon head. If I can't get it quickly, then... That's fine. We'll try a different region just to see if it helps. There's definitely a deeper water back here, too. Well, there was. See, now I feel like I'm swimming a lot faster. I wonder if it has anything to do with the wakes mod that I have installed, which is just a fun little... It doesn't really matter for um, for yourself, but if somebody else is watching me, then there's like water splashes and stuff. I installed it just because it's a multiplayer server. Wow, that's a lot of salmon. What is going on with my camera? Oh, I don't want to ruin my decoration. Get out of the grass. No, I'm just getting regular salmon. Did I get one? No. Looks like it was last updated two years ago, so it might be hit or missed. Yeah, so sometimes those things don't just don't work. Oh, we did get one. Sweet. So I can either put something on top of that shelf that would make sense. Like a fish head. Then there's a fishy in the kitchen. I think maybe we'll have to place it going the other way. Yeah. That looks good. And we can use an armor stand to maybe have one of these cooked salmon on the stove top there. That's pretty good. And then we'll just, uh, no gravity. And then and which direction is this? That's positive. And then this is positive. Uh, 
That's hovering a little high, isn't it? I know that there's a, a specific situation for flat on surface, but it puts it too far inside the block that's underneath, which I'm not a fan of, which that's sort of doing now, which is annoying. Yeah, I think that's okay. So then we'll lock the stand. Cool. Just a little bit of life in here. Nothing too crazy. So we could put like a loaf of bread here. Or I could I could do something like this. Or I could put this somewhere else. And maybe we could put the loaf of bread on this windowsill. Although I was thinking about changing that into a staircase. That could still work. I'll go get the stairs. Aldabar, good to see you. What's going on? Most people on the old versions are just there because they want the mods. Yeah, that's fair. I tr I, I'm I trying not to get sucked into like a lot of mods. I know that we have got a lot of performance mods, which I'm okay with that kind of stuff because I think it just makes everybody's life a lot easier on the server, um, especially mine. But I, I don't want to go into like a lot of gameplay mods. A really good example is how much of a headache the tables and chairs data pack has been. Um, because of the changes to Minecraft and the changes to the data pack and it's just been a pain. It, and if I ever developed a mod, I would just do it for me. Like I wouldn't want to have it out there, you know, myself and maybe my patron server, but that's it. I don't want to have to run support for something that's free. Uh, what was I looking for? Stairs. Here is bone meal. No, I'm not sure where the bone meal is. So the whole reason for this is because if I remove this, we can see a lot more of the garden if I replace this with that. And then it looks kind of like an intentional window. It might be a little bit too much actually, but in here you can see a lot more, which I like. So I think we'll, we'll fudge it a bit. I can't remember. I think these are bigger in the hand. No, they're about the same. Oh, that's the wrong way.
Now, hopefully this won't end up in our basement. And then we'll move it back this way a bit. Now the tricky part here is going to be as long as I can still do my path. How does that look from in here? Looks like a loaf of bread on the windowsill. Thanks, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Oh, wrong way. Cool. Well, the sun is setting and I need to take a break as per Sandy's heads up. If you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to uh, grab another drink and uh, I might, well, I, if it's not updated, I won't try that mod, but I can test it some other time. Cool. I will be back in five or six minutes.
All right, let's see what else we can do around these parts. Some creepers to take care of. I guess that skeleton must be standing in water. I almost got him. Did that creeper despawn? I just wander somewhere where I can't see him. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you. Welcome in. I don't see him. I think we're good. All right, I don't need that anymore, I don't think. I apparently need more armor stands. So I feel like if we put something like this in the front here, it would look pretty cool. Although it's a little bit big. And then I wanted to do book and quill. And I'll have to break this first, I think. just to get the armor stand a little bit closer. Got ahead of myself. I always find the angles of these sprites to be really weird. I figure out which is the best direction to have it on the desk. I guess that's pretty good. Sure. It still doesn't look like, like a book. It just looks like a flat pixel thing, so it's not the best. Gives a little bit of life. And I guess I like that there. It does sort of match with everything color wise. I don't think I want to bother to actually hang stuff on these. A little bit too much work. Uh, this is pretty good. I don't think I want this to be any busier. 
it's that or maybe we put something up there there's no real place to have like utensils you know like um swords and stuff i did i did a kitchen in the mansion i want to say the other two inns are mostly like taverns but this has got a downstairs kitchen but it has a lot more counter space and I guess I really didn't do any like knives or anything I just just sort of had stuff around that's a good idea I need maybe I need a little bit more stuff around like salt and flour and whatnot that could be a good way to do it too and some firewood well we can stack the firewood outside that's not a big deal So yeah, any fire for this stuff would fire would be would be out out here. So my guess would be imagine right here. Probably the other way around. Like that. I feel like the spruce would be a nice change in texture. So maybe, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll flip those. Yeah, that's better. Now, I've been thinking about switching this to andesite. Oh no, the armor stand is there. I hate that about this data pack. It's got some great bonuses, but the problem is that when you have stuff like this, you can't can't place blocks because the armor stand for the for the silly little fish is there. Oh, I can't place either of those. That's annoying. I should have done this beforehand. It is slow to work with the armor stands. I would consider myself pretty speedy with them now that I've been using them for a while. Oh, no. I wanted to go probably regular andesite. And put those away. And I've broken this anyway. So nudge will go negative eight. So you can put those back now. So what a one thing I was looking at was this switching this to andesite. Didn't bring in walls. 
because I think it clashes now. It gets lost in the deep slate base. So I'm hoping that by switching it to andesite, which is the color of the other chimney, then it might look a little bit better. I could maybe still have some polished in it. I think I have to go pure andesite. It's not going to look as good in the kitchen. Unfortunately, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not the best. Maybe I can do polished in here. Yeah, I think that looks okay. It's, I preferred the dark, but I think that this looks better out here. Maybe we can switch this and just have that be dark. No, still doesn't work. Might be worth it to change the top of it. Just because it's so close to the bottom color now. Yeah. Go with that. We, we know what? We could probably do that. Yeah. What could I do to overlay something here? Maybe a button? I can't think of anything else that would go over top of that. If I added a couple of buttons, it might make it feel more unique. Yeah, the sign would look odd. I, w I want like a stone colored sign, right? I think that helps. I think that just helps make it look like it's not part of the structure so much as it is a chimney, right? All right, now that we've done that, we've got to put the armor stand back. It's easy enough to fix, it's just kind of a pain. And I don't think I need anything else in here. I could put something else up there with an armor stand, but that just seems like a lot of work. So I think I'll leave that. Uh, I was looking to do something else in the floor. We really don't have enough room for anything. Maybe we can do stuff like that in the basement with like a barrel of flour and stuff like that. Maybe we can put salt and flour and that kind of stuff downstairs. That makes that makes sense to me. Uh, do, do I want this lit? It's really bright. like that might be the way to go w 
Whoops. Maybe. Maybe just the one. I'll know better at night. Okay. I mean, this is not a, a huge high traffic build, so I feel like the only other thing I wanted to do was maybe light one of the candles upstairs. That room feels particularly dark. That's better. That highlights that. I wonder if this would be better on the other corner. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Still see the bed, but you get a lot more of the detail. Prefer that. And honestly, I feel like I might want to move that over to. Yeah. Not a lot of light in here. It's fine. It's just very dim. We might fix that with a window. That that could be coming. Okay, so I think I've got the balcony yet to mess with and I guess I could think about putting something in that window or something on either side of the window. What I really need to do is bring up the slabs and stairs in Mangrove, which I don't have a lot of room for. So it's just this space here and item frame. Goes in the other arm. This is going to have the. Yeah, it's got the little dagger in it, which, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Do you like the painting? Might have been nicer. <laughs> Shame we don't have moose heads that we can mount on the wall. That would be cool. If there was more hunting like that in Minecraft, like if you had to hunt deer or elk or something, I mean, deer would probably be the more common thing that they would use. But I feel like that's not a bad idea. Don't know. We might be able to do both the painting and the amethyst. It's a little bit of a stretch. Because these just, they just do that. And that's no good. I mean, we could do two things above the, the fireplace. That's fair. You know. I don't know what those things would be. You know, like that and the flower. I don't know. But if we swap, if we look at the size of that. The item frame is a little bit bigger. And it might get bigger still. We swap it. No, that's not terrible. I know I said I didn't want to have like a sword in it, but it's small enough. It might be okay. I just can't think of what else we could put there. It's easy when it's like a, a coat of arms or a chest plate or something like that, right? Hey, there's the mighty Elkhorn. How's it going? Speaking of, were your ears burning? We were thinking about mounting your head on a wall. 
A magma mini block down there would be good, Alistair. That's not a bad idea. Or even something that just looks like more ash would be good. Like a burnt log. Like a mini basalt would look great. All right, I'm just going to go with this for now. Uh, this is positive Z. Nope, oh, wrong direction. It's a little small, but uh, styles, no. So now that it's nighttime, I really do want a little bit more happening over here. I wonder if there'd be a way to get a little bit more light happening. I could put candles underneath a carpet. Well, that makes no difference. At least not visually. So I'm fine with those being off. I just, I feel like I want more happening over here, but I don't know what else. No, I don't need to mount an Elkhorn head. <laughs> That's funny though. I'm going to get shot at. It's not. Creepers are the ones that I'm really concerned about. I think we're good. Uh, mini basalt. Do I have a mini basalt? Do they always punch you in such quick succession? I keep on thinking I'm going to rotate this thing when I click right on the icon, but I, it doesn't happen that way. Uh, I guess I could keep... Yeah, those two things. Uh, sc Scary weather? Scaru. I think it's scary weather, maybe. Welcome in. Thanks for giving the shout out to Cosmic. And um, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. And join us in the Discord now that you have a sub. That actually works quite well. It's subtle, but it, it adds a nice little feature. 
Uh, I was trying to think about that cool holly thing that Sweet Sandy mentioned. Maybe that can go upstairs? It feels a little bit cramped there. Wouldn't make any sense in here. That's already full. It's not bad. Again, it ties in with the red. I like it. Is there... Yeah, with all the windows so close together, there's really no space for it. Down here. Like, maybe there? Something I need to get better at is really filling my space with a lot of things inside. Actually, that works better. I like it there. Plus, people will see it more. So this feels a little bit barren. Don't know what we could put there that would make sense. I would put like some spruce buttons, but I wouldn't be able to do it on this side because of this block space being eaten up. Oh, you're welcome. Um, scary. It's all good. Lurking is great. Eyeballs are eyeballs. As far as I'm concerned, I have a pretty chill second monitor stream anyway. I'm well aware of that. I, uh, I also talk enough that I don't think I need the chat to be constantly rolling. <laughs> so it's all good. I appreciate the, uh, the effort to watch no matter what. Well, while I'm thinking about what to do next, let's bring up some of the mangrove. Because I noticed now that we've got the interior working on that second floor, some of the slabs that I used to fill in the gaps in the roof are actually creating some weird vertices here. But if we get rid of them, we still have to fill that space, but if I use a stair, then we can either do it on both. And it creates the same problem. So what we'll do, maybe do it on two sides instead of four. And these are the two sides that don't have a lot going on. So you see how that, that breaks up that joint a bit? Now, here, we could still put stairs. We just maybe have to change their, their direction. Yeah. Now, this may not work behind me as well, but it might. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that that works. Yeah, way more interesting and, and uh, less blocky. Now, we do have the same thing happening up above, but I don't know. You know, for the sake of consistency, let's do it. Can I get up there? Is that a whole block? Nope, just a slab. Oh, am I gonna be able to do that one? Probably not. Maybe from down below.
yeah really subtle but it makes my brain feel better Ah, oh, so close. Ha. Yeah, that's a big difference. Wall still feels pretty plain, but it's not the end of the world. All right, now I need those different trap doors for up here. Word Nerdify, happy spring. Not quite yet, I don't think. Today's not the first day of spring. It's two days from now. Isn't it the 21st? Ah, trapdoors, signs, signs, and I already have trapdoors. So here, I thought it could be interesting to try different trapdoors. I think it might be better to put them on the corners though. And then here, maybe we can get away with signs. Well, those are going to pop off the moment that I change those, but it feels a little open. I don't know. Yeah, that feels kind of precarious. <laughs> I mean, well, one, it's not going to stop the player. <laughs> no, not that that really matters, but uh, we could try that there. I feel like that's probably a better solution. The Almanac says it's today? Really? Huh. Yeah, it was snowing earlier today. Just like a weird... Nothing stayed, just like a five-minute flurry here I think maybe we'll go too strong here yeah I do like that And I think that's fairly simple. I don't think I want to go with, with anything up there. It's a little bit strange on that connection. Maybe I can change the direction of those. A slab is going to be too much, I think. We could try to see what um, oak tractor works. Trapdoors would look like up there. Just from a structure. So I can go that way or I can go that way. And here's the fun part about this free cam is like I can just check this out without having to get down. It's a little stuttery, but. I think I prefer the oak, or not the oak, rather the spruce, but the different direction. 
I think that a slab is going to be too heavy. Maybe if it was an oak slab? I don't have enough. That's very square, very square. I'm not quite sure how to handle this. Maybe it needs to be an oak trap door on the side. No, capital N-O. Yeah, it just feels very much like a barn. I mean, I could try the full stair. Just ruins the layered effect that I want. If I did that, I'd have to probably change this. That's probably the best. Man, I have to say, the free cam here allowing me to back up without having to get down off the balcony is great. Oh, I stay ducked. <laughs> That's cool. That's a little bit too much. Okay. I say that's probably good. Now, do I want to go with signs? This can have a really fun effect with the spruce there. If we go spruce signs, it can sometimes look like a nice angle. Although it doesn't really connect there. And it's not something that I can mirror, so I think it might be better to go with the oak sign. And I decided not to wrap it because it then lines up with the sign that's going to go on the roof. So we won't do it there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so that's the balcony done. I don't think there's room for me to put anything up there. I think all of the, I think all of the um, trap doors. Yeah, so I can't put anything in there. That's fine. Sure. Just a little something.
these ones have got some spruce wrapping around them. I don't think I want to do that here. All right, cool. So I think that takes care of all of the interior work upstairs. Uh, made some adjustments there. That's good. I'm happy with that. Oh, carpet. I wanted to try carpet. What were you thinking? We were thinking green carpet or... Cyan purple. Green, purple. I have more green wool, I do. Fazu Battlecaster, great to see you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. I almost said Thursday. That's normally my first streaming day of the week, but we're we're doing something new. I'm gonna say this is gonna be a no. Yeah, that's very very bright. I don't know if it has to be that big either. It feels funny coming all the way up. The other color that would be good would be navy blue. I have a puke green color, isn't it? I think I like it just as it is. I think I like it just as it is. So we'll leave it. If any place it would be there, but I think we're okay. Yeah. It just looks so funny with the chair being so much lower than the carpet. Haven't tried pink carpet yet. Nope, and nor will I. All right. Upstairs inside is complete. A couple of those blocks might change with the textures of the roof changing, but other than that, I think we're we're solid. And there may be a window that comes in there, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna call the kitchen done as well. I don't think there's anything I could put in there. It would be really funny to put like a fish head on a little mini armor stand and stick it in there. That'd be kind of funny. I'm not sure what else you could put in there. There's no real dishes in Minecraft outside of the flower pots that some people use as cups. And I think the only thing left is just to try to figure out a lighting situation there. So one thing we could do is 
use gray carpet. And candles. Regular candles. Is it honeycomb? Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to get was basalt mini block and a magma cube mini block. Do I have one? There's basalt and magma blocks. Oh, one rocket is almost not enough. <laughs> Feet almost touch the walls. So this isn't going to add any light. This is just going to add some visual changes, which would be, um, oh, of course, the armor stands in the way. We could do that. That's not the best. And having that next to the log here kind of draws attention to the fact that we're using mini blocks a bit. That's pretty good. I don't mind that. It sort of feels like a burnt up log. But the other thing we could do, which will be more obvious at night. Now, hopefully I can do this in a way. That I can put this back would be to put candles here. Light them. And then do this. Not the end of the world, texture wise, because it matches pretty well with the ash there. But I imagine at night now, um, this will be a lot more glowy and we can experiment with two or three or four candles. That's probably the solution I'm going to go for because it's not the best texture, but it's going to be, it's going to be what I want for um, a glow here. And I think, unfortunately, well, I could change that block behind a bush. But I wanted to have some more texture back there. I could do this. Right? And that's going to be hidden. I can still see it because of the stupid culling that I can't seem to fix. So yeah, maybe we'll just, we'll go back. Yeah, the glow, glowing ember look is cool. I really, I need to update my texture pack to have the ashless campfire. Although, I mean, in this situation, it makes sense to have ashes there. But you'd see a lot more of the um, the texture from the magma block that's below there. Uh, it's not blocking any light, so you're getting whatever light the magma block gives off is fine. But now we've got like sixes and sevens over there, which I think previously there were like fours. So I'll just wait for it to get dark here. And I think if we finish that up, that wraps up the inside second or first floor, I guess. So both the interiors for the top and bottom are done. And then it's a matter of working on the outside. I really don't know what I'm going to do for this wall. Thankfully, we are in a plains, so 
So we're going to be able to use moss in a lot of places. So flower planes or sunflower planes are a little bit hard, but regular planes that matches a little bit more. You can see how the texture changes a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Okay, the river cat, great to see you, hello. Yeah, even that little extra green helps quite a bit. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Much appreciated. What else are the little things we need to do? I think the roof shape is good. I need to get more of those red bricks in there. Oh, we could add some, some textures to the bottom. I'm not a big fan of the diorite. I do like the quartz though. Where I guess this is a good place for that to live. Uh, I don't know if I've ever tried the snow block in the walls. Might work. What are the other white blocks? Bone blocks are the other white blocks. Although they're kind of yellowy. Quartz. And then technically mushroom, but that doesn't really work. I've not done a white and cherry wood build yet. I feel like the white and pink, the pink is so light with the cherry wood. I feel like that would be pretty good. White wool is the other one that I'm thinking of. All right, now that it's nighttime, check this out again. Yeah, so that's a much better glow. And then if I add, that's that look. So that's even brighter. I feel like three is probably the happy, the happy place. Yeah, we'll go with three. 
Can I get those back? Oh. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I just didn't want it to be too too dark in here at night. And now that actually looks like it's glowing. So sacrificing a decent texture here, but I will call that a win. In case that spider gets here before I wake up. Why it pays to have good headphones. The dark gray carpet is a bit like ash. Yeah, it is. And and because it's in the corner there and it's mostly meant for a night effect, I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Cool. Well, that means that both of these levels are done. I it never ceases to amaze me how long it takes to do interiors. I feel like I should just leave that in here. No, I guess toolbox makes the most sense. I'd never find it again. that stuff get rid of this all right some of these are just not going to work together Oh, that's bright. Forget about calcite. So all of a sudden, I think the calcite becomes like the darker blocks. And I can still use diorite in some places. So I think our gradient is going to be that. Surprisingly, the, the powder is not the lightest. And that's just crazy white. I feel like you could probably do a little bit with quartz and bone and maybe some sandstone, but we will stick with that, I think. Don't need quartz or the bones. 
more of the snow. And I certainly don't need the rain. Well, now I've got to wait for this to stop. So I guess in the meantime, I could loosely plan out the basement. I've got the barrels. Is this dark enough? No, that's fine. So I guess we're going to have to have some stuff on the walls. Uh, I do like the idea of maybe this being a secret passage that's hidden behind some things. That kind of idea would be fun. Uh, this is a pretty decent spot for some sort of shelf. So probably this kind of a thing. And or we could also do maybe like your flower or Another barrel of something there. Put this concrete powder in there for now. So right away when you come down, you've got some cool details. And then this is low enough that we could put some mini blocks or things up there. Or just like linens. We could have linens up there too. That's another cool thing we could do. We could have like a wash basin down here. Or like doing the laundry. That might be a little bit big. Something like that. So we could have water in there and then some hooks or something there. And then maybe some other kind of, well, we could have a table. We could bring down a table. That could actually be really cool. That would make a lot of sense. I've never done that before. Having like a linen area. Got the color comparisons done just before it started to rain. Yeah, story of my life. Uh, and then I guess here we'd want to have, I don't know if I want to fill this in with shelving and stuff because that would feel kind of claustrophobic. that makes sense I could reverse that actually if I wanted to have the corner feel more open I could have the chest on the end I feel like we could do something really unique there maybe like having something like this Although if I was to do that, I would just put it on a bear. I would put it on a table or turn it around and then put a tripwire hook on the back. So it looks like a spout. Then that becomes kind of a problem. Maybe this ends up being more like piles of stuff. That makes it at least more discoverable, which is kind of fun. I think maybe I'll just switch this for now.
a little repetitive in terms of the color. We might want to change change some of that up a bit. Maybe this isn't going to be a barrel. Maybe we'll make something different out of that. But yeah, it comes together pretty quick. I feel like food stuff is going to be here immediately. So what would be... I'm not sure how else we would store. I guess we could have like some shelving. I wonder if I did tables on top of one another with um, legs on the end. That would work. And then the lighting has to come from somewhere as well. So one of these things is going to have to have, we might have to sacrifice something like this and put like a little lantern in the corner, recessed into the wall. I mean, we could hang something from the ceiling too, which would be fine. Still lights the whole place. Just right down to there. And I don't need a, a lot of light. So even just like a regular lantern right there would be fine. And if we wanted to, this has got a too thick block. So we could hang a lantern from something like that and maybe make it look like it's kind of supported somehow. I don't think I want to get into running like rafters. It might be fun to have a little support in some staircases. I think we can sleep now. Oh yeah, that's very cool. With that texture in the barrel, it kind of looks like a cask. Yeah, no, that's that's what I, I meant to do. So like we could have, I've got that idea now for those tables. I kind of want to try it out. Torch flowers look like mobs that are on fire. When you're not paying attention. Thought there was a creeper there for a second. Uh, let's make more spruce. Why does he have a weird... Hmm. At least when you're building an inn, uh, there's always a bed nearby. It's very, very true. Very true. Let's get some spruce. And I wanted to grab a lantern. And just a couple of these just to see while I'm down there if it's going to be worth it. Oh, tripwire hook. So for this, what I was thinking was something like this and that, or maybe a lever, but if you pull the lever, sometimes it has like redstone sparkles and this, maybe we face the other direction. And then we could either do, I didn't bring enough tables for all of this, but I would put maybe like a table underneath it like that, which I think would look cool. But what I was thinking was for here, if I did two tables and then two tables, 
And I forgot the hammer. Crap. I really wish I had put the shulker boxes a lot closer. I feel really on the fence about starting to use the tables and chairs data pack again so much. So if I do that and then I do this, I wonder if it'll look like shelving. I mean, yeah, I think it does. M maybe not with the barrel behind it, but I feel like if we put stuff... Now we'd have to use armor stands if we really wanted to. So the downside of this is that it takes up the whole block space. You can't really put anything underneath it. You could put something on top of it if you wanted to. Right? But anything here would have to be armor stand nonsense. So it might be worth like a combination of things. I know this is the wrong way around, but I'll come down here and actually finish this up properly. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but you get the idea of what I want to do down here. might be worth using something like concrete powder there that works better than the diorite we'll do the front first some of this might change a little bit get diorite down there oops oh, there was a tripwire hook on that wasn't there And that's going to pop off as well if I change it. So maybe I'll try to leave that. Which makes sense because like something like this would be a lighter color. So maybe a little bit of shadow there. Lower block there. Maybe you have to switch these. Try to get the lighter color on the outside. That doesn't look all the best. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> It's hard with uh, with such a small surface. I feel like I might have that backwards. And then the inside, this kind of hides how bright it is.
Yeah, I don't know. Though. The more I do this, the less I like the calcite. I feel like the diorite is going to be used very rarely. I wonder if these can go next to each other. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's tough. I know I've done it before. I think the only thing I did was just calcite and concrete powder. I know this building has got this kind of combo. I think I just kind of sparingly popped in. Yeah, it's just the odd little bit of concrete. Just enough to break up. I didn't even do it on this side. Yeah, just little dots. Maybe I have to reduce it to just the two palette. I feel like it is the wool that's distracting me. So maybe if we get rid of that. Sometimes a simpler approach may be better. Methorical came here from the spawn chunks after listening to it. Love the podcast and thought if I like the podcast, I will like your streams. Well, thanks very much. That's great to hear. I'm glad that the, the spawn chunks can bring in new people to the stream. That's that's great. I think I've just got these mixed around. Nope. I think the answer really is just mostly calcite with a couple of dots of uh, concrete powder. Oh, I was trying to be fast enough <laughs> that it wouldn't pop off. That's fine. That's covering that up. I can't move that out here.
feel like the calcite maybe goes better with the quartz in that particular situation. Yeah, like it's it's really simple. I think that's really all it needs is just the odd little tweak. Now there's going to be a bush or something here to cover that up. So we'll uh, we'll do the top next time. Um, because I think I'm running out of concrete powder. But yeah, not too shabby. So we were able to finish the details in here with a glow around the fire. We hung an armor stand uh, item frame there. Got some details around the main desk. Realizing now that I could probably put in some nails. So I've got those details around, little book and quill, some um, tripwire hooks. We changed the chimney to be andesite so it didn't blend in with the deep slate. And we added a little wood pile out here for the kitchen. Kitchen has got decorations. It's got a little fish head, cooking fish. It's got a loaf of bread cooling on the windowsill, which you can see from both sides, which is fun. And we added the books in the bookshelves there, as well as the books. In the reading nook, we added books in here, lit some candles, changed the doors around so that they open a little bit nicer. And the last thing, we roughed out the basement. The basement's not finished. We'll have to do another pass on this. Uh, but one thing I did want to check out while we're here is if we want to add something like that, which I think we probably do in some places, it would be nice to have some sort of like structure or something it doesn't have to be a stair maybe even a slab would be good enough just to kind of indicate that there's some sort of stone arch support happening maybe not there it's kind of in your face coming down the stairs yeah so we'll i'll mess with that and see what i come up with down here but the idea would be that this is going to be full of probably food storage dry storage like wheat and salt and then this is going to be a washing station for laundry and then some storage and then the storage kind of hides the secret tunnel and that's going to pop out at the river somewhere so full stream of interior but it's all done inside except for the basement and then we can spend the next stream probably working on finishing up the gradient on the roof because we've got ideas but we haven't really taking it to full concept uh, and then we also have to finish up this end of the roof and then we have all the grounds and the gardens and stuff i'll probably start with the back although i might want to do the path first because i don't know how far back i want this garden to go i don't know we'll see we'll see see what i start with but if you've enjoyed this please leave a follow here on twitch or if you're watching this later on youtube which is joel duggan vods then you can uh, follow on Twitch and follow on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. It's free and it really helps me out on YouTube because I can actually get advertising going now that we have um, the amount of followers and content on YouTube. It's fantastic. You can check things out on the Spun Chunks podcast. Brand new episode out yesterday. We talked about the new mace. That's at uh, Spun Chunks, thespunchunks.com or just really the Spun Chunks wherever you download your favorite podcasts. It's also available on YouTube. I think Johnny's posted it by now. Uh, we were late publishing yesterday because we recorded late, but it is out. There is hopefully going to be some new Citadel Cafe content coming soon. I watched Oppenheimer on the weekend and really liked it, so I want to talk about that. And uh, there's also a new Acolyte trailer for the Star Wars show, which is very cool. 
You can follow me on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. Uh, thank you to anyone that used a gift sub today, that uh, thanked someone for a gift sub today. Uh, make sure you join the, the Discord if you've got a gift sub. If you want to join the Discord, you can also use a tier one or a prime gaming sub. Or if you're on a budget like a lot of people are, check out Patreon. It's uh, $2 a month to support me and join the community. And I think it's a pretty cool community. I'm biased, of course, but there's that. And that is at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. I am going to pass you along to Azumavoid, who is streaming, I believe, probably from the Hermitcraft server and expanding his base. So I think you'll have a good time with Exuma, and I will see you next time. Bye for now, folks.